It took us quite a long time to find a nice piece of land where we could build our home. But after almost a year of searching, finally we found this little piece of paradise. The edge of an old forest, only inhabited by buffaloes, birds and trees. Lots of trees. At the rear it borders a large canal and the neighbors on both sides only grow rice once a year, which means no burning and no chemical spraying. In the middle is a large clearing, the perfect spot for a house. But before we can build anything, we need a place to safely store our tools and materials. Next, we need a fence, mostly to keep those buffaloes out. We hire a group of people that build fences for a living. Of course, it isn't as straightforward as putting a bunch of poles in the ground. It never is. And when you have a fence, you also need a gate. This is when we first become aware of the extraordinary qualities of the people we hired. In the meantime, our paw is building some essentials. And what is a bathroom without water? Putting a pump 30 meters underground in a 40 meter deep well is tricky business. If you drop it, it's gone. Forever.
Now we are ready to build our house. But first we have to mark exactly where it will be. Our house is going to rest on 24 poles that sit 2 meters deep into the ground on a rocky layer. Each and every pole has to be in the correct place, up to the last centimeter. Each pole will stand on a one square meter foot made of solid concrete. We mix the concrete ourselves, according to a recipe that will produce a high strength concrete able to withstand 400 kilograms per square centimeter. Even the amount of water is carefully measured. The 20 cm thick foot is reinforced with 60 mm rebar. The pillars themselves are 20 cm in diameter and made out of the same concrete mixture. This creates a foundation that can carry some 400,000 kilos, more than double the weight of our house. Now we prepare the ground for the stem wall, a concrete ring that sits on top of the pole. We need to make 1,300 steel cores that holds the 60mm rebar together. The 16mm rebar is strong. It takes three people to bend it. Each collar is tied in place with steel wire.
have concrete casing for 30 meters of wall. In total, there is 130 meters to be built. Before we can top it off with the floor, the drain pipes must be in place. Then we need sand to fill it, 80 trucks of it. To support the rebar, we make 400 little cupcakes. A vapor barrier is not common in Thailand, but it's the only thing that keeps the paint from falling off the walls and floors from being damp. It also prevents the concrete from losing too much water too soon. Finally, after everything is tied together, we are ready to pour the floor. For the stem wall and the floor, we use ready mix concrete. It's just too much to mix by hand, and the quality is not as important as the footings and pillars who carry the brunt of the weight. And then our work is done, for now. Now the rain season is starting and it's just no fun to build a house in the pouring rain. <laughs> 